crazy. What's it like, first of all, to be back here? Strange. Uh, you know, like I, I grew up just down the road there, and this, all my mates lived in these houses around here. So it's just, it's nice to come back and just see it all from a, just a different perspective. Like not being the seven, eight-year-old kid, being close to 30. <laughs> I can imagine you had some good times in these goals as well. Not in the goals, but yeah, shoot, <laughs> shooting at the goals, yeah. I was always shooting downhill, you didn't want to be playing up here, but uh, yeah, it's just childhood memories, playing football with your mates, straight after school until, until you had to go home, go to bed, kind of thing. But uh, we, we ever used to play here or down at the school, just jump over the school fence and, and play there. When we were walking over, you were saying like these goals. You think they're still like the same ones? That's crazy. Like the amount. Yeah, of time. yeah. Like twenty years, these goals have been here. I should have wrote my name on them when I was younger. <laughs> Shouldn't I? I'd still be here, but yeah. I remember when they first put them in. Everyone's buzzing because there didn't, didn't used to be anything out. Yeah. They put the little playground park there and the football nets, and we was delighted. You had loads of mates, obviously, around the area. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying then, I, just, I don't know if there are, a lot of them are still here or I think the ones that I still speak to now um, have, have moved out the area, but yeah, had some good times here. Yeah. Yeah, no phones, no internet was new. Like, yeah. What was that? <laughs> it was hard work. It was, um, <laughs> you'd leave the house and say, oh, mum's going to find my mates. So, all right, okay, you've got four hours out or whatever till we your tea's ready or whatever. And you could spend three hours just looking for them. Because obviously, we, like you said, with no internet, no phones. Yeah. So you just go around knocking on everyone's door. You'd come here, see no one was here, go and knock on one of the lads' doors. Oh, they went up to so-and-so's house. So you go up to their house, not there. Then go down to the, into the woods where all the tree swings and stuff were. It was just a massive game I didn't seek. <laughs> it was good fun, though. Yeah. What, what kind of stuff did you get up to? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Uh, knock at our run. Um, <laughs> We used to play, like I said, build dens in the in the woods, um, tree swings, uh, tree houses. Just going on missions like the streams and that in the forest in the woods down there. Just, just general kid stuff, messing about. Completely different to what kids do nowadays. Yeah, no, no Xbox, no <laughs> Xbox Live, PlayStation, none of that. It was just football and. Woods. <laughs> How much did you enjoy growing up in Huddersfield in these kind of areas? Yeah, you, you love it all, yeah. when you're with your mates 24 7. Felt like the summers were longer, the winters were shorter, and it was just everything was fun. Everything was no stress, no pressure to do anything, just just be a kid. Yeah, and you were saying like your mum's obviously still in the same house. Yeah, like, yeah. It must be great when you go back there, all the memories that you had from like your room. and. Yeah, still got my room there. Although it was mine and my brother's room when I was little. But yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's crazy how it's, how it's changed and but yet still stay the same, if you know what I mean. It's, um, yeah, mum lives just down the road, so I'm always up here. But never, never really come and stand out in, in the park or go down to the school or to the local shop. It's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> like you said, your school's not far from here. Like yeah. everything's kind of changed, but it's still the same. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Walking distance. Never used to had a bike. I was either on my bike or walking everywhere. There's, didn't have. Don't remember ever getting a taxi when I was little. Anywhere. Used to get the bus if we we're going far. But it was even to town. It's only like, like a mile or something from here. So it was. Everything was just close and small, little community, and it was everyone looked after each other. And you used to play on the school pitch a lot, didn't you? Yeah. Not that you were meant to. Yeah, well, you know, school school shuts at three or whatever, and you should have just jumped over the fence <laughs> and play there till till gone. But at the school, obviously, knew it wasn't wasn't, yeah. wasn't harming anyone. We were just having a laugh, being kids. Now that should be the Wembley pitch with it being so flat. Well, yeah, I think that was probably the burn about a bit a bit special. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This look at this one was a similar to the Wembley one. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But yeah. Uh, uh, fond memories of playing football here and at school. Why are we here? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, 
this is the pitch that I used to play on. As you can see, it's changed a little bit um, from 20 years ago. <laughs> there's, arse, there's arses here and everything. Um, <laughs> I did not expect this no, to happen. Yeah. I didn't expect to see this. There's a school that's just been built there last yeah. few years. So it's, these playing fields have completely changed since yeah. I was last here. Because this is where you started your junior football, isn't it? Yeah, I played at uh, Style Common. He's in Newsham. And, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we played here. This is where we had a lot of games down here. We played at the high school as well. <laughs> but we never had spectators like this. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> now, growing up, were you always a striker? Where did you, where did you play? Uh, when I was little, I started in uh, midfield. I used to play in midfield. Paul Lintz and Gascoigne were my, my heroes when I was growing yeah. up, so I used to try and copy them. Yeah, um, yeah started off in midfield as I got older, went on the wing because I was quick and ended up playing, didn't end up playing strike until I was like six, 15, 16, 17, when I was a bit older. So it's Incredible started off that. as a midfield general. Yeah. Yeah. Like Hoggy. Yeah. Tackle, like the general, like... yeah. The original <laughs> general. <laughs> but yeah. Like this place, obviously, it's changed massively now, but did it still bring like the memories kind of flooding back of yeah. great goals that you scored or yeah. big tackles that you made. Yeah, getting sent off. Uh, sent two off. footed someone here once. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was because I was small, they used to try and like try and bully you a little bit. So they were smashing me in tackles. For that, and then I just, I'm not having it. So just, I didn't get, it wasn't a red card. You didn't get red cards back then when you was like 10. I yeah. just smashed the life out of someone, and he limped off his pit, limped off the pitch. His dad was fuming on the <laughs> side, started shouting on at me. My dad was fuming at the side, started shouting at him. Oh, it was brilliant, classic. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> it was can a imagine. classic. Fraser, you've brought us here to a park in Dalton. Yeah. Why here? Why is this so special? So, um, growing up, obviously, mum and dad work. So I spent a lot of time at my grand's. She's just around there, Brockbank. Um, just come down here to the park, doing, again, <laughs> messing around with friends. So I was down here a lot, so I had quite a few, few friends down here. Um, my auntie was like, when I was four or five, she was like 16, 17, so she used to take me around, probably learnt my first swear words down here. <laughs> um, yeah, fond memories. Remember going to one of my auntie's friend's house, one of these houses here, Yeah. and they had a pet a snake, this massive, snake. yeah, massive, like, <laughs> anaconda or something. It was, what? obviously I was little at the time, so it was probably, it was only about this big, but it felt like it was, <laughs> It was huge, but yeah, um, spent a lot of time down here, messing around, as, as you do as a child. Was this like one of the first times you had a ball at your feet? Yeah, probably. Obviously, it's not very even, but you can still kick a ball about. But as we've seen, there's bikes flying around. I think my, my mate had a petrol um, go-kart that we used to fly around right here. <laughs> so it was less football, just more dangerous sports. <laughs> What's it like coming back here now? Like, I presume this is one of the first times you've come back to Dalton, even though you live in. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, my grand don't live here anymore. But yeah, it's, I'm not being down in this park. I don't know, 25 years. Yeah. So it's been a long, long time. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just it's it's nice. It's a nice, strange though. It's yeah, like yeah. this is where I used to knock about. Yeah. But now I feel really old. <laughs> Did it really much? Um, we didn't have this park on here, and that park wasn't as fancy. It didn't have a fence. It was probably just a set of swings and a slide. Not as but many mopeds. Yeah, motocross is big round here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know. This is the home of Formula One, I think. <laughs> but uh, nah, yeah, it's it's nice to come back.
Fraser, the John Smith Stadium was very different when you were growing up. Yeah, been down here a few times um, before it was a football stadium. They used to have um, like a fairground every year. So it'd come round, I don't know, November time or something like that. And obviously my grand lived in Dalton, which is just the other side of this big hill. Yeah. So we just to walk down and yeah, this is where I first discovered that I didn't like the waltzers. <laughs> Why? What was it's just, I don't know, I just the, all the spinning just made me dizzy and sick. <laughs> and I've never, you very rarely see me on a waltzer now. <laughs> to be fair, Mark Hudson had me on one at a charity event Did a couple of years back, yeah. I didn't want to go on it, but he was, he was being very loud and, <laughs> and kind of bullied me onto it. And I was like, oh, God's sake. <laughs> but yeah, very few times I've been on a waltzer since one down here. It used to come down with your mates, with your family, like? Uh, family mainly. Yeah. Um, like I said, my auntie, my gran lived up there, so I just used to come down with them and, and yeah, enjoy candy floss and all that jazz. It must be weird being here now, sat in the stadium, like knowing that this is where it used to be scared on the walks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you'd have said to me then, oh, you're probably going to be playing football here one day, I'd be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, yeah, fond memories. It's just, it's, it's crazy how things can change, but it's, I was going to say quickly, but it's not really quickly, it's over 20 years, 30 yeah. years, but it's times change, don't they? And fond memories are just, they're just memories now, because I couldn't have a fairground here. <laughs> It'd ruin the match. Yeah, carnage, wouldn't it? Yeah, the game would be ruined. <laughs> it would have waltzes on the corner flag. <laughs> hey, celebrate. Yeah, hey, yeah, sit down and just start spinning. <laughs> <laughs> So Fraser, we're down at the Leeds Road playing fields. You mm -hmm. used to play obviously in the Yorkshire Cup here, now it's the home of the Town Foundation. Yep. You, when you got here straight away, you said, look, I want to get involved in the Town Foundation, I want to help the community. Why? Well, I think that's, it's pretty obvious, like I'm from, this is my community. Um, I know what it's like to, to grow up around Huddersfield, I know what the people are like. Um, and I know what it's like for, for young people to, to meet someone that's, you know, from, from the same area, but they've gone on to do something they love doing. Whether that's be football or whatever is, is, um, is irrelevant. It's, you know, just to inspire someone similar age to like, like when I was little or whatever, to, to do something good with their lives. Because they obviously help all sorts of people, disabilities, yeah. people are in different communities bring everyone together like the football club can play a massive part in kind of bringing uniting communities yeah uh, you know every team I've been at you know it's always been the, the the leading force and like I said this one's special to me because I'm, I'm from I'm from here so it's 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 a great way to, to bring you know the fans in and people in the community to with the football club and you know try and get a bit more of a relationship and you know we, we go out and we try and help um, the different foundation, the different charities or whatever to to improve their whatever you like the care or their ex trips or excursions or whatever. So it's it's, it's um, something that I, I wanted to be a part of more. It must mean a lot to you to have this ambassadorial role to then go out and spend your time with other people because you know how much it means to them. Yeah, yeah, other kids as well because obviously my, I finished football, finished training at one o'clock or whatever and I've, my kids don't finish school till 10 to 4. So I've got a couple of hours where, you know, I'm not neglecting my own family. <laughs> I can, you know, go and to a school somewhere and, you know, just talk to the kids, try and inspire them, try and make them better people um, with just through being me, yeah. which is easy really, it's easy. I'm, being, I'm me every day, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's um, to go and help some kids, you know, or even, not even just kids, just you know, young adults or, you know, people that are struggling with different stuff to try and help them get through that, whatever that may be, it's, um, yeah, it's something that, it's a feel good thing, you know, you feel good helping other people and, I'm, I'm lucky enough, I'm privileged enough to be in this position where I, I can actually do that and try and make a difference for people that need it. And being a local lad as well, like that's going to inspire young kids. Like they'll look at you and think, 
what a career he's had like what a great story like i could be like him if I'm yeah yeah i could do that or i could do better than that do you know what i mean so it's that's exactly the thought because when i was growing up if if someone i professional footballer from Huddersfield would have come into my school I'd have been thinking wow this guy's legend he, what he came to this school or the school down the road you know it's relatable isn't it so it's it's um things like that were a massive for for young minds so it's um if I can inspire maybe a one or even two to that end up to playing for Huddersfield Town you know <laughs> that'd be that'd be a great thing to for me to sit back and look at when you know I'm old uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantastic, Fraser. We've seen horses, <laughs> pets, yeah, everything. Pylons. You're a town foundation ambassador. Thank you very much. Cheers, for the pal. It's been a pleasure.